Transfiguration of the Lord Jesus gives us a glimpse of his divine self. He gives us a foretaste of heavenly status of humans, thereby, increasing the hope and desire of the apostles for the transformed heavenly life. As we reflect on transfiguration of Jesus, he gives us the same hope of resurrected and glorified heavenly life. We all want to go to heaven. We want to be like Jesus transformed, transfigured and glorified. We want to see ourselves like Jesus in a glorified body, when we rise to heaven. Every time we celebrate the Eucharist we proclaim, Christ died, Christ has risen and Christ will come again. By saying this we express our future hope of our own resurrection and transfiguration of our earthly body, like that of Jesus Christ. However, in order to see ourselves transformed like Christ we need three important things. First, faith. Second, prayer. Third, hope slash preparation. 1. Faith is to believe what we do not see and the reward of this faith, is to see what we believe. 2. Prayer, divine intervention takes place during prayer. Most of the miracles that have taken place in the gospel were after a simple prayer. In today's gospel Jesus took with him Peter, John and James, to Mount Tabor to pray. While they were at prayer, Jesus was transfigured. While we wait for the transfiguration of our earthly body to glorified body, we need to pray all the time so that Jesus may find us worthy and transform us like himself. 3. Hope, is waiting for underscore for something expected. And when we wait for something we prepare to receive it. As we wait for that day of glorification, we need to prepare underscore prepare for by changing our ungodly life to a godly life, from sinfulness to sinlessness. 